Hi there Booktube and welcome to a new video. This is going to be uh, the first of two that I'm going to record today. Uh, the other will be uh, a fiction review for, of my past week's reading. This is going to be a TBR and uh, I must remember to change my t-shirt in the second uh, video uh, so that it's not really obvious that I recorded them back to back to back. Um, okay so the book I'm currently reading is a reread, something I don't do very often. This is The Damned United by David Peace. And the next book I'm going to be reading is also a reread, which is Cobra Lingus by Jeff Noon. And the reason I'm doing these uh, rereads, no, it's, uh, it's that one I want to move, so my face appears between the books. Oh, I can't work this out. Um, is because I'm recording a Paper Trail podcast in a couple of weeks where you talk about three books that uh, mean a lot to you or influential to you as a writer or whatever. And these are two of the three. And I'm just refreshing myself on them. They both appear in my top tens. Uh, books on booktube on the uh, old blues chapter and verse is a video where he's doing the sort of statistical uh, um, putting together of, of booktube respondents what their favorite books are uh, the third book uh, I'll be talking about on paper trail podcast is David Markson's this is not a novel which I read last year and is still so seared into my brain I don't need to reread it to be able to talk at length about it so uh, I won't be posting reviews of these books, A, because I've read them before, B, because I've sort of talked about them before, although I've not done dedicated reviews, and C, I, when the podcast is up in April, I will post a link to it. And if you're interested in those books, you can listen, uh, you know, online there. So those are two of my next books. And uh, beyond that, something new, I'm quite hungry for something new. So we've got a mini unhauling. Hopefully there's three books in here. Uh, yes. So the first of these is For the Good Times by David Keenan, with the blurb by Spider Stacy, he of the band The Pogues. Now with um, Anna Burns' Milkman winning the Booker Prize last year, suddenly there's an interest in all things Northern Ireland and uh, by Northern Irish writers. Um, now I'm not Northern Irish myself, but I also had a book out last year on, you know, very much set in Northern Ireland, so I'm obviously very happy about this trend. Um, so, praise, no, that's for a previous book. Okay, let's see what this book is about. David Keenan's second novel plunges the reader to the dark night of Belfast in the 1970s, an era of military terror and sectarian violence, occult visions and religious intensity. Sammy and his three friends live in the Ardoin, an impoverished, predominantly Catholic area of North Belfast, that has become the epicentre of a country seemingly intent on cannibalising itself. They love sharp clothes, a good drink and the songs of Perry Como, whose commitment to clean living and looking good holds up a dissonant mirror to their own attempts to rise above their circumstances. They dream of a free state. And their methods for achieving this are uncompromising, even as they become transfixed by the initiatory possibilities of free reign criminality. So I think this sounds like a sort of a male version of what Anna Burns was doing. Um, maybe not quite as lyrical and poetic. We'll have to wait and see. So um, I'm looking forward to that. Now, I don't read many graphic novels, but here is one of those beasts. This is called Ice Cream Man by... Three writers, Chris O'Halloran, Martin Morazzo and W. Maxwell Prince. Can't say I've ever heard any of them. And the reason I picked this up is because it's recommended by Sylvia on her most recent reading wrap week wrap up. And she totally sold it to me. So I shall be dipping my toe into the world of graphic novels. I can't remember the last graphic. Oh, yes. Was it Habibi uh, by Craig Thompson? It's probably the last graphic novel I read. Um, can't tell you much more about it. Go and see Celia's uh, review of it uh, if, if you want to find out more. And the other new book, Fever Dream by Samantha Schweblin, who's Argentinian. And there's been a lot of book, book, book tube chatter around her latest release. Uh, but unfortunately, that's short stories. And I'm so off short stories after a disastrous year of reading them last year. Uh, that I do want to read her, but I didn't want to read short stories. Uh, so I've gone back to her debut novel. Um, and she's uh, supposed to be sort of something else as a writer. I'm really looking forward to this. In fact, this will probably be my next read, either interspersed with the two rereads or or in between, or, or sort of in parallel with them. I don't know. It's, this looks quite a short book. It's 150 pages and it's small. Um, so I might read it. Uh, at the same time as those rereads. Uh, I did say one of my ambitions this year was to read a greater, closer percentage of, of female writers to male writers. 
and I have read 13 novels this year, of which eight have been by men and five have been by women. Uh, that you know that is considered improvement on uh, last year's. Now whether I can sustain that or not, I don't know. Um, so obviously you know this is score one to the women on this one. And finally, uh, Jason at Old Blues Chapter and Verse and Lukacs at Totally Pretentious are running March of the Mammoths, by which during the month of March you are encouraged to read an 800 plus page book, hence the mammoth. Uh, something that you have put off repeatedly because you'd be daunted by its size. Now, I was going to read Red or Dead, which clocks in at 759 pages. But the problem is, it's about another football manager by David Peace, i.e. very much in similar vein to this, which is about a Leeds United manager. Uh, that uh, Red or Dead is about a Liverpool manager. And as much as these are brilliant, you know, David Peace is a brilliant writer. I wasn't sure I was ready to read two fictional accounts of football managers within a month of each other. Um, so, back to the drawing board, and I thought, yep, yeah, it's time to bite the bullet. I'm going to read this. David Foster Wallace, The Infinite Jest, clocking at a thousand pages, which qualifies for uh, March of the Mouse. Wish me luck. Um, you know, will I make it? Will I make it all the way through? So, there you have it. That's my TBR and uh, Friday Reads, and uh, stay tuned uh, for my review of my past week in fiction, which is three novels completed, including a total, utter, utter five-star book that will be very hard to knock off my read of the year. Stay tuned for that. Okay, till next time. Thanks very much.